Hey, what up, y'all? Boy, Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. I uh, just wanted to quick pop at y'all about a couple things that was on my mind as far as, uh, you know, what's going on in these battle rap streets. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple things real quick. Give me a minute, man. want to light up a, a bulky one time. But first of all, I was uh, watching Angry Fan talk to P the last couple of days. And uh, P for one, dog, is really good at not answering questions, man. And deflecting, you know what I'm saying? And answering a question with a question. You know what I'm saying? That's like some real A-verb shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's some real, uh, that's some real, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to deny without denying shit. You know what I mean? Real shit. But I just saw him and Ace Amin on Angry Fan this morning. And, uh, first of all, Ace Amin be saying stupid shit to me a lot of the time because he's wrong about the whole Summer Madness shit. Summer Madness should be big fucking names. Summer Madness is the Super Bowl of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? It should be big names, straight up. I'm not mad. I don't like the battle, John John and Surf, but I'm not mad at the battle as far as the names go. You know what I mean? Those are two names that are Summer Madness worthy. Just because you was battling in the paint, he trying to say that, that people from the older era were waiting for the crowds to come back because... They'll look better with crowds. They won't get exposed. They would get exposed in like the small room setting. John John rapped, bro. John John at the beginning of the pandemic battled a couple motherfuckers, if I'm correct. You know what I'm saying? Um, Who did he battle? Uh, Ill Will, right? In a smaller room setting. Debatable ass battle. Both was fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Ace I mean just mad because he lost that battle to John John. John John, Ace I mean, Ace was fired, but John John showed that there's levels and that Ace ain't on that level yet. That's all. But I want to see Hollow on Summer Madness, bro. Hollow and Nitty, come on, smack, make it happen. RBE's becoming one of my favorite leagues, dog, because, because first of all, all the shit that Smack and them do to shit on RBE and make as far as anyone uh, besides besides paying motherfuckers not to battle you know what i'm saying and booking or and and booking battles to stop other battles and getting people to sign contracts to stop battles and signing exclusivity contracts to stop battles that type of shit right there proves that rbe is or smack and url look at rbe as a threat which they are. They they are a threat at this point. <sighs> RBE's bigger than they ever have been. Just had the biggest ticket, biggest card on max out. About to throw, be about to be max out too. They have shown that they are a legitimate threat to smacking them. So, but what I really wanted to address is ain't sound mean saying that if you get your chance because in that angry fan video he said. If you get your shot and fuck it up, no one cares what you did on Gates of the Garden or any of those other small leagues. You can't get your shot on URL, fuck it up, and then be like, fuck it, though, but look at what I did on all these other leagues. Bruh, really? Coming from you, somebody that's fucked up mad battles. Brother, it, it's more than what you do on the fucking in the ring, obviously, because there's plenty of people that fuck up their initial battles. And URL keeps pushing them. So don't even try to talk like that's the reason, bro, for some of these people not getting opportunities. Because they fucked up their initial battle with URL or with the Crucible or with the Proving Grounds or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it now. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that that's the reason. Ace Me was trying to make a point out of that. And I'm like, bro, coming from you, somebody that's fucked up hella battles, bro, and gotten nothing but mad more chances. Even advanced in tournaments and shit after choking. Like, come on, bro. Like, this shit is, the game has been rigged for you, bro. You know what I mean? You one of those dudes who get, got rigged for. Your honor. People that they just get pushed for whatever reason. I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get it, man. 
I do not get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. I do get it, actually, to an extent. But I just don't get Ace Amin's argument. You know what I'm saying? There is no argument. You're just trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. And you're trying to have peace back because that's your man's or whatever. You know what I mean? But plenty of people have fucked up their their initial shot on URL and get, been given multiple chances. So that's not the reason. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the reason is, it's not how it's not how you perform in the ring because there's other people who have sm- who have snapped Benji, whoever have caught bodies at least according to him in in their initial try tryout battle or whatever you want to call it. Um, damn near like a working interview for URL. Plenty of people have caught bodies and never got another look. You know what I'm saying? From URL for whatever reason. But don't try to say it's because uh, like if you fuck up your initial battle, that's why. Nah, bro. Like get the fuck out of here with that argument. I just, I just wanted to address that part of that interview. Ace I mean be full of shit, man. A lot of the time. I agree with John John that he's full of shit, but it's been a rain out here, yo. But I also wanted to talk about A-Ward and URL, man, and just say that A-Ward doesn't need URL. A-Ward has become the, as big of a star as he is off URL, and RBE is damn near as big as URL, and they do YouTube drops at this point. Like, it's not as big as URL as far as popularity and and status within the culture okay i get that but it's well on its way bro and they do youtube drops he's become the uh, as big of a star he as he is without battling once on url why would you sign an exclusivity deal and become somebody like your honor that gets shelved and only battles in small fucking battles that are meaningless that no one gives a fuck about you know what i'm saying straight up straight up why why would you why would you <laughs> Because, like ARP said, it's not about A-Ward's talent. It's about them not battling on RBE. And it's about him not battling on King of the Dot. Because they really see these dudes as threats. King of the Dot and RBE are threats. King of the Dot been a threat, but RBE is even more of a threat now. That's the second biggest league, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? At this point. King of the Dot was, but those are the top three. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, that's like that's just crazy. A-Ward, why would you do that? When you can eat at all these other places and drop classics and you still get in the exposure. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why he would do that unless they tr- unless it was a, a battle by battle contract. Fuck signing a, a deal with no guarantees if you're somebody like Award. That makes no sense when you can get plates from everywhere else and you can get paid off RBE. You can get fuck all that. That makes no sense to me. Smacking them have no leverage as far as that goes. If you want Award. Then sign him to a one battle contract every time you want him to battle like you do these other superstars. Because he's a star now. He's a star. Shout out to Battle Truth. He's a star, baby. But, yeah, man. I, I mean, I just wouldn't understand him signing a contract like that. You get big enough, URL has to rock with you. He shouldn't have to do a Crucible or a PG. Nah, fuck all that. Get that bullshit out of here. No. He's way beyond that shit and he's proved himself by arguably beating Ill Will in one of the battles of the year, you know what I'm saying? With all the rebuttals back and forth, that shit was fire, dog. Like, but I also wanted to talk about Reed Dollars and Clean Paper. Clean Paper smoked Reed Dollars, man, in Grand Rapids, my city. That's why I really wanted to talk about it. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Organized Crime Battle League. They 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 growing, too. I fuck with Organized Crime. I fuck with Spaz Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with them, bro. You know what I mean? And, uh, uh, but this was a this was this was a I liked Reed in the battle. Reed had some good lines and I like his energy in both of their performances is, is unmatched, man. They both have a lot of energy and performance. But Clean's performance is for real unmatched. He's even better than Reed. Reed got the voice and delivery. Clean paper got the performance, the comedy, the bars, a better writer. And he was hitting Reed Dollars with haymakers, dog. In a one rounder, he smoked that boy Reed. If Reed wants to beat Mook, he's going to have to come a lot harder than that. Otherwise, Mook going to have an easy day in the office and win that bitch three zip. Because Mook is one of the best lyricists out here right now. He's gotten better since back in the day. His pen is at an elite level, like bars within the bars, metaphors, entendres, similes, 
Mook is a fucking monster with the pen. And he doesn't stumble. You know he coming with. He can spit a 24 and a half minute round and not stumble once, dog. Never choke. This boy never chokes, dog. I'm talking about you're not going to get a choke out of. You're not going to get any missteps out of Mook. You got to beat him fair or square. He's not going to give you a round ever. You know what I mean? And he's not going to give you a round addressing other people. He coming right at you. Reed, I don't see Reed beating Mook after that performance against Clean Paper. Clean Paper. That Clean Paper is a fucking problem. Could be one of the top battlers if he stayed focused and stopped robbing motherfuckers for deposits and get off that drink, man. Straight up. Because Clean is one of the most talented all-around battlers that there is, dog. He's got the charisma, the showmanship that, like, Hollow the Don has. You know what I mean? Like, bruh, he's got that, man. He's got that it factor that is ta- that you can't really teach, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to be born with that right there. You know what I'm saying? He just has that that factor that people want to gravitate and watch him. He, he just takes, grabs your attention, dog. And is entertaining as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Clean when he's on that type of shit. I wish he would for real get focused, man. He used to be one of my favorite battle rappers. He still is if he's on point. And I see DNA Tooth going in on him. As of lately, that is what it is. He's made many mistakes within his battle rap career and done people dirty. I get it. But I wish he would get focused, you know what I mean? Because when he has those moments where he shows you what he still can do, you'd be like, damn, bro, that reminds me of that old clean that he can still do it, too. So where the fuck you been at? Where is that been at, clean? Come on, man. It's tough to watch that and then watch him do what he does outside of the ring these days and half-ass it sometimes in the ring. Come on, Clean. I really want to see that shit, bro. I want to see Clean at his best again, man. It's just heartbreaking from coming from Michigan. But either way, man, he caught a body against Reed. Now, Reed going to have to get in that rum nitty bag and better to beat Mook. You know what I'm saying? To beat Mook. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. He's going to have to, dog, going to have to. But anyway, um, A-Ward versus Fonz, I want to talk about that too because he's battling in Cleveland. That's uh, It's going to be a dope battle, man. He's battling Fonz and Clips week in one week in two different weekends, back-to-back weeks, dog. Like, that's elite shit, but I'm a little worried about A-Ward because he did that and lost to Excel. You know what I'm saying? So he, I hope he's prepared, but um, Clips, that's going to be a dope-ass battle. That's going to be a fire-ass battle. That's going to be A-Ward, I think, does more. Like I said, Hollow, to me, exposed Clips back when he battled him. So now I don't look at Clips the same. He's still one of the GOATs. He's still one of the best freestylers. And that's why that rebuttal, the rebuttals between those dudes are going to be worth the price of admission. You know what I'm saying? But I think A-Ward does more with his pen. You know what I mean? And has, is more layered. You know what I'm saying? Clips, it's hard to, it's hard to beat performance wise and charisma wise. He has that. That's why he's on Wildin' Out. He's a funny motherfucker. He just, he's great at, like I said about Clean, he's great at grabbing your attention and keeping it. And and just captivating a crowd, man. He's phenomenal with that shit. But I think A Ward is a is just a better rapper, a better puncher, a better a better a better angler, a better just in general, bro. He's a better writer. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna come with stronger material lyrically. But all it takes is for clips to do one to clips to hit you with a couple haymakers to change the entire outcome and aspect and 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 perception of that battle you know what i'm saying straight up that's all it takes so i'm not saying clips can't win that battle i know i talked about this for a second on another blog but that's gonna be just a great entertaining one of the most enter- it has the potential to be one of the most entertaining battles of the year clips come back you know he's got a whole bunch of shit in the fucking cut in the chamber like he ready bro I, that's gonna be a fire ass battle i still think clips is one of the most entertaining dudes just the style's a little simple, especially after Hollow exposed, exposed his style. You know what I'm saying? But really, that A Ward Fonz shit is going to be fire as hell. I do still think Fonz is a little bit too one dimensional to beat A Ward, 
in an actual battle, like it's gonna be, it's gonna be an entertaining battle because punch, 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 punch will punch your head off. He's one of the best punchers, arguably the best new puncher. You know what I'm saying? And he's Midwest, so I rock with him. But he did lose to JC though, Michigan, holla. But that's just gonna be an entertaining battle as well. But A Ward also does more than Fonz. He's a better writer, a better lyricist. Like I said, a lot of the same things apply as far as the clips battle and A Ward. The same things apply. A Ward's a better writer, more in depth, more layered. I think A Ward is a better performer than Fonz. Fonz has to grow a little bit as far as that goes. He's a good performer, but he still has he there's still a lot of areas where he needs improvement and can improve. But just like I said about the clips battle. All it takes is a few big punches and a few big haymakers that really resonate with the crowd to change how that battle looks in a heartbeat within a couple of lines. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to be at home, so you know he's going to be bringing his best shit, and he's going to have home court advantage, so the crowd going to be behind him. So he could win that battle, man. It's going to be tough for A-Ward to go. I think Clips might be first. He's going to go into Cleveland and beat Fonz. Fonz might win that battle after that because that's how XL got Ward after a battle that week before and he got him underprepared just freestyling the whole shit and beat him. You know what I mean? So Fonz could get him in that same way, especially at home, bringing his best shit with the crowd on his back, home cooked meal, you know what I mean? But I do think Fonz is too one-dimensional to beat a fully prepared A-Ward, personally. You know what I'm saying? So I really got Awar winning both those battles, but with the potential to lose both of them. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. They're both dangerous battles. You know what I mean? To take in back-to-back weeks. Very dangerous. Because they're both super talented, dangerous opponents, dog. But I think Awar just been in his bag so much lately. And he's a superstar in his own right. And he trying to carve out that champion of the year respect that he didn't get last year, whether he wins it or not. Now, you can't win champion of the year if you don't battle on smack. URL, I don't believe that. Not these days. Maybe you could back when when, when Old Red won it, but you can't now. I don't believe it. You know what I mean? So if he doesn't get on smack URL, he's not going to win it, but he could get consideration and get farther than and much higher on the list than he was last year because he was disappointed with number 20 or wherever he was. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just looking forward to both them battles, man. Let me know what y'all think. About all of this shit I mentioned, you know what I mean? Ace I means comments on Angry Fan. Or just the whole P situation with these dudes, you know what I mean? And dudes feeling like they getting shitted on by P as far as opportunities go. What you think about A-Word and URL, that whole dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Whether he should sign a contract, whether he even needs URL, or whether URL should just fuck with him and work with him on a battle-to-battle basis, you know what I mean? Like they do the other superstars, you know what I'm saying? And what you think about the A-Ward Fonz and A-Ward Clips battle. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. I'll be coming with another blog as soon as possible. Y'all already know the deal. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision, and I'm out of here. 100.